everyone. My name is Mia. I'm 23. My acting credentials include a lot of shows, including Speechless. I've auditioned for Studio 19. Um, but I haven't really gotten my big break in a long time. So hopefully this will open my, um, my world a little bit and see if acting is my passion, which I believe it is. So hopefully I have the chance to. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm ever saying or Evie, but ever gets my name stuck in your mouth. <laughs> I mostly like talking about voice acting because one of my projects uh, in Familiar's Brew, which is uh, one of my friends, the One True Blue stuff, I actually voice one of the characters, so... <laughs> Hi, neighbor! I'm Willa Darling. It's nice to meet ya! So I always enjoy being really animated, and then I grew up around theater kids, essentially, so I got like the experience of being a theater kid without being one, uh, so it was fun. I had a lot of fun, so... <laughs> Take care. My name is Stephen Reams, and I have a deep passion with film, television, and video games. I really enjoy acting, especially voiceovers, because in the world of voiceovers, you can be many different characters. Acting has been a deep passion of mine ever since I was in high school, or even elementary school. But I haven't really got into the act theater acting, like on stage productions at high school because I was busy with other things, especially with marching band and drumline. But then I went to Salabac College. It was the first spring semester, which was 10 years ago, which I met Maria, where I did voiceovers. And it was a lot of fun. And around that time, however, I was into mechanical engineering. But during my second year, however, I wasn't doing well. And so I decided to go change majors to cinema and television arts. So I did more, more courses here before I transferred to Cal State Fullerton where I focused on audio production, which I thought was going to be my passion. But then I realized that I should get back into acting courses. So I went back to Salabac College and took acting courses with Maria. Sadly, however, it was in the March of 20, during the spring of 2020 and in the middle of March, it was the COVID hit. So we had to do some, um, acting at home through Zoom, but I still have a passion for it. I kept doing acting. And then in 2023, I heard this thing at Six Flags Magic Mountain called Screen Break, which is a thing where the scare actors, they scare people, but also make it more lighthearted. So I went for it and I enjoyed it. And I also went to work for Fright Fest, where I also scare people and stay in character and creating my own character. Well, or which is basically a SWAT officer, actually. And then that's when I got my phrases off. And so I returned to Screen Break this year and was recognized as one of the top scarers of the maze. And I'm glad to be back here doing this thing, this special event. And I really am grateful that Maria has invited me back. So thank you. Hello, I'm Vincent Acuna. I'm doing this acting career or I've been having a passion for it since yeah. probably since when I was a kid my first acting credential was was being was being on stage during a stage product a little kid stage production of one of the Disney films 101 Dalmatians and after that, when it, when middle school came, I was cast as as young Simba, and then in the Little Mermaid Junior play, I was cast as Scuttle. And needless to say, I really pulled I really pulled off the parts, almost like the eyes were eating out of my wings and paws. <laughs> 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 oh, in TV land, my name is Tyler Berman. You may recognize me from such projects as uh, Speech Kingdom, which is an e-learning app for kids to help them get better speech skills or skill life skills in general. Another one would be Sundance Film Festival, an artist at the table, which was an event showcasing various artists and their endeavors and what they have done. And thirdly, the Autism and Entertainment Conference, where I met this chap right here, as well as seeing Maria again after six or seven years of not seeing her. My humble, beginning, my humble beginnings begin at Saddleback College, not necessarily in the film or voiceover department, but in the graphic design department. Shout out to someone in the audience right over there. 
His name is Mark, if you want to say hi. If you're here, if you're in TV land, you can maybe reach out somehow. Anyway, so yeah, I decided my humble beginnings would be at the voiceover class with Maria Manzette, which is somewhere around here. But yeah, I took that, found a knack for it, not the knack, not to be confused with my Sharona, but anyway, yeah, I developed a lot of voices I could do or found the talent for it and then decided to make a career out of it and took some more classes online and eventually found an organization by the name of Spectrum Laboratory, which helps autistic artists of all kinds, animation, voiceover, acting, etc., find their way into the entertainment industry. And that's where I found my mentor, Kathy McCauley, who has helped me make so many strides that are pretty unimaginable before I made them. So that's my story. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Alexander Vasquez. Some people call me Sandra or some Alex. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I was diagnosed with autism and speech delay. But the one thing that really got me to speak was not from speech therapy. It's from movies and also the plays and music. And that's what made me grew so passionate about films. And I remember my first film that I watched when I was a kid was Find Nemo because I loved animals and all kinds of plants and wildlife. But until later when I watched more of the films on Disney and DreamWorks and pretty much 20th Century Fox, it made me grew so passionate with all kinds of films. My favorite films were action and slapstick comedy. <laughs> and the reason why I took her class because I wanted to learn voiceover and also learn how to be involved in Hollywood films as well. And I definitely love being part of this program as well. And thanks to my parents who pushed me hard to get to um, be involved in this, I could finally speak, unleash my power as an autistic and be. So my goal right now for this course and in general for acting is to be a liaison for people with cerebral palsy and Armenian women. I'm half Armenian. And I feel like Armenian people don't get the recognition they deserve in film and TV. There are many share the Kardashians, but I just want to be a neurodivergent Armenian ally for all my Armenian women out there. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I'm pretty simple. I just want to get into voice acting. <laughs> well, as for me, I would go get into voice acting, but also would I could try out other fields of acting as filming on the screen or even on stage. After my experience with the screen break and Fright Fest, it felt like a theater experience. Thank you. For me, I think my my goal is to be back in back in back on stage in Salvac College at this point because I'm really, really desperate to be back on it. For me, I'd like to get into voiceover for animation and video games. I find a lot of neurodiverse talent, whether it be on camera or neurodiverse for voiceover, tend to be a little bit undershadowed, or that's not the right word, but out of the spotlight, or they're slowly getting into the spotlight, but when it comes to voice actors with disabilities, or neurodiverse in this case, I feel like they could offer so much. Even if it's so little. It is so hot. I like to perform like in action films, and just like the rest of the animated films as well, but also I love doing uh, scenes in films where they do martial arts, like fighting, because for example, I'm a pro belt in jiu-jitsu, and that's what we want to be part of the films to play Marvel or DC characters and do all their martial arts stunts and their acting as well. And that's pretty much it. But also I love animation, which means I love being goofy on, on goofy, I like to play goofy characters and also play more, 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 how do I put this? Uh, more essential voices, not just from main characters, but also from different character backgrounds, like background characters, see how well they can communicate with one another.